Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about a list of things that I find to be um, interesting and are helpful to one's own development. So the first aspect that I found to be the most important in any conversation or in any situation, any life situation, it is being outside of yourself. Don't be in here be out here experience how it is out there not in your own mind walk into a room not asking who likes you actually go into a room and ask yourself who do I like just always always give yourself that importance and this individualist kind of thinking because if you keep worrying about what others think and things like that your development will slow down and it won't really go anywhere and plus the idea of like caring about what others think think comes from the being afraid of rejection being afraid that maybe somebody would reject you and other people would have a perspective or like an idea would form about you but guess what no matter what you do people will form judgments and ideas and things that about you that might not be true or or maybe they might be true as well you never know but people will judge you no matter what the only way that you do not get judged is if you be nothing say nothing or just not be anywhere at all like not not exist basically because part of existing in this life is actually being judged and accepting the fact that other people would judge you no matter what you do. This is just a fact of life and everybody has to accept it. You want to be judged good? Well, chances are and there are some people that are not going to judge you as good because in this life, we never get all the good. We get the bad as well. That's why it's not heaven. It's just life. Another thing is... When I say be outside of yourself, listen to what other people say. Be, don't, when you say something, don't say it because you said it, not because Shem said it. I'm going to make, and also I'm going to make my statements from now on as an I, me, rather than you, because this, will, this is a video for me as well, because these are things that I need to improve as well. So the first thing, I need to be outside of myself. I need to be in the moment and not think about what the other person is thinking about me because this is too much work. This is too much distractions for me. I'm not an impress object. I'm not there to impress people. I'm not there to entertain people. I'm there with people and I look at things and do things not to impress anybody or make anybody think a certain way about me. Because that's not how I look at people. So, And also, give yourself the power of approval. So you give approval to people. Do not let other people give you approval. Don't look for others' approval. You give approval. You judge. This is you. You give yourself the power. It's like you, you also give other people the power. Like this is some other thing that you do unintentionally sometimes sometimes you try to prove something to somebody and in that case you know that they have the upper hand and not you or like I need to I like I need to take ownership of myself and actually whenever like I'm in a situation where I know somebody is trying to make me convince them or maybe do anything for anybody that I'm, I'm giving them the upper hand and I need to give myself the upper hand. People prove things to me. I don't prove anything to anyone. And also, do not justify what you do. I should not justify if I want to go to the mall instead of going to Walmart. Or maybe if I want to go someplace. Or maybe if I did, or I have this R. I hate when I say R. It's like the R always twists the hell out of my tongue. But if you, for example, do something, if you want to go to the amusement park you don't have to justify why that is to anybody because this is you and you don't need to justify what you want just by you wanting something this should be enough you wanting something 
That's it, hands down. Nobody says, why do you want that? Or nobody has the right to change how you think about yourself or how you think about what you want to do. There's no, need for, there's no need for me to justify anything to anybody. Also, be expansive. Like whenever like you're sitting someplace, whenever I'm sitting someplace, extend your arms. Extend, have this ex, expansive seating position, I guess. Uh, or maybe like standing. Like when you're standing, take as much space as you want. Be comfortable in that space. And don't be so much... Don't worry so much about other people's space. Worry so much about your space and what you're going to get. Um, also, pretend confidence. Whenever we're in a situation where like confidence might be a challenge, or not confidence might be a challenge, discomfort, this discomfort feeling we always get whenever we're, we're at a job interview or maybe we are at this important meeting, we always get more discomfortable so in that situation pretend confidence and welcome the feeling welcome the feeling of discomfort you're feeling uncomfortable nobody knows how you're feeling it's just you who's feeling that way it's just me who's feeling that way i'm covered my feelings are right here and i'm covered up with this just face and body and everything so nobody knows how i feel so i have to also know that nobody knows how i feel and i can act in a way that nobody would notice how i feel there's no reason for other people to know how i'm feeling or what i'm going you know even if you're having the worst day people should not know that i'm having a bad day or anything because it's none of their business i'm dealing with these things myself and it should not affect any other function that i do yes you'll feel uncomfortable You'll feel bad maybe, you'll feel good, but it's nobody's business. It really isn't. And in that way, you can actually go about that by just pretending confidence or pretending whatever feeling you want to pretend. Also, don't overthink people. Don't over, don't over um, appreciate anybody. Just if you're going to say something, say thank you. That's it. And that's another issue that we face as Arabs. We intensify our feelings. We over-appreciate and we actually, we're very expressive. So whenever something happens, we actually express it to the other person. If we're not feeling good about something, we're going to express it to that particular person no matter their status. So another thing is do whatever you want and don't care about like how you look. Like just for example, you you're, you want to like, get an idea across don't like restrict how you move your hands like use more hand gestures blink your eyes just move your face when talking just do all the normal things that you do for me when I talk normally I always move my face I always m use my hands I use so much hand gestures I um, blink my eyes a lot I maybe like do a lot of these things but in the same time do these things and notice that you're doing, you don't have to notice that you're doing these things. Do them like naturally. Try to make it look as natural as possible. But in the same time, be extremely outside of yourself and connect with, be, remember that it's all about the other person. It's not about you. It really is about how the other person, like just pay attention on them. Maybe notice what's under their eyes, what, you know, their nose looks like. Pay attention on what they say, and this is really important. Listen to what they say. Listen to what they say, and also, when responding, don't pay attention on you. Don't pay attention on anything. Don't pay attention on myself. Pay attention on the outside. Pay attention how what I'm saying is, like, how it's gonna, the outcome of what I'm saying, basically. Don't pay attention on the process of giving that particular idea that you want to give another thing is don't be afraid to show a little bit of my personality when I speak today I was um, in school I was studying for an exam and I was with two girls and these two girls have really really soft voices so for some reason I started having that soft voice and when I have a soft voice this automatically just gets me like uh, and then the breathing gets like I don't know just slower just 
me trying to be congruent, like mirroring other people, I feel is the worst enemy of mine. Like I always mirror, however the environment is, I mirror it right away. Like somebody's talking, let's say, I don't know, um, with an accent, I, I automatically get their accent and start talking a little bit. It's kind of like sympathizing with other people. And I'm not a sympathetic person. It's just because this is my family. This is the way they've been handling things. I've lived so many places throughout my life and my parents would always mimic or maybe assimilate to the culture of which they're in. And it's all, although it's sweet, but still, like, do not mirror. There's no reason for me, like, for me to be like anybody else. If they're speaking a certain way, I don't need to speak a certain, like, that certain way that they're speaking. I need to maintain my personality and show my personality. Somebody's talking fast. I do not be I do not need to speak fast or maybe if somebody's talking slow it's a bonus to speak slower but there is no need for me to speak at the same rate that they're speaking there's no need have my own personality I got to have my own per like I have my personality but then it changes depending on who I'm talking to sometimes and when it happens sometimes it kind of bothers me so I go back and I say that I should always have my own personality whenever I'm talking to them I need to maintain me no matter what I don't need to switch or code switch or whatever they call it also another thing when speaking have your head my head up and always speak in, in that position like in that way of speaking ha like I always slouch my back so another way of like just sitting up straight and healthy. St sitting up straight is actually healthy for you. It will actually keep your back straight. So that's another thing about, you know, sitting up. If you sit up straight, it's not only going to make you feel good. It's also is good for your posture, for your everything. Like I'm all about health, but that's another thing. And also, don't like whenever I'm speaking, I get these negative thoughts like, "Oh, this is not this might not be good or maybe if I done it a different way it would be better no speak the way you want talk the way you want breathe in as many times as you want do whatever because nobody is noticing anything and if we care about what people think there is like this quote I don't know but I think it's by an athlete he says if you live for people's acceptance you will die of the rejection and I truly believe it I really do because always always maintain yourself and know that you have so many I have so many qualities I have so much and yeah I think that's it thank you so much for watching and until next time